Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you what happens with total cells when you use filters and how to fix it. So first of all, I'm going to click at the bottom of this salary column and do the sum function. Click on the sum function. It comes up with the sum function, grabs the list, which is great. I click the tick. 650, 1000 and change. Now, if I put the filters on, if I just go to data and filter, and then if I just filter this, I'll just filter, in fact, I'll filter it by grade. So I'll just take a couple of these off. So now I've just got AA and blanks. There aren't any blanks. Okay. It still says 651,000. It is still the sum function. So that is no, using the sum function on a filtered list is not going to do it. So what you need to do, if I just clear this filter off, instead of doing that, you do this. I'll delete that off for a minute. I'll put the filter to whatever. I'm just going to select, uh, a, I'll just select grade AA. OK on that. Now if I do the sum function on a filtered list, so I'll go back to the home tab to get sum. Alt equals is the key command. I could have done that. I click on sum. It doesn't come up with the sum function. It comes up with the subtotal function with a 9 on it. And then you've got the range it's picking up, which is now going to be a dynamic function. Whichever size this list is, that will always add it up. If I just tick this, you'll see the difference. So it's not formatted to pounds. So I'll just put that to pounds. So it was on 650,000. If I clear the filter off, if I just go back to clear it was on 651 which is exactly the full amount but now if I filter any of these columns so if I just check this tick off and filter by equal ops that figure is adjusting to tell me what the actual score on the door is now if you format this table as a table this function automatically appears when you do it at the bottom so that's what I want to do now so I'll clear that filter and I'll delete that off and I'll format this as a table so that is on the home tab format as table just going to select uh, one of these options down the bottom there it's picking up that I've got a headers so there's the table and if I click at the bottom so at the bottom row there you've got the option of having totals if you tick it on so up at the top there there's the table design totals and then you get the total at the end there 651,000 but look at the formula bar it's doing that subtotal feature again it's automatically doing the subtotal feature now if I delete that off and just um, do alt equals which is the key command for sum it still does that subtotal function now, if I filter again for equal ops, that subtotal function is going to automatically summarize the list. So you can do it manually on a basic filter, or if you format it as a table, it will automatically use the subtotal function. And you'll notice the difference there. It's got 109 instead of 9, but it's doing the same thing. It's a dynamic sum. So whatever you filter, I'll just bring this back select all whatever you filter it will show you the relevant score in this case total for that category that you filtered there's the total so that's all i want to talk about in this little video how you can use a dynamic sum on a filtered list so hopefully it was of use thank you for your time i'll catch you in the next one